Hi, this is Pastor Christy. I want you to think about what you're passionate about. What is it that you enjoy doing the most? What gives you life? What do you enjoy thinking about or reading about or looking up? Those are sometimes called our passions. And many times I think we put ourselves in mind that our passions are supposed to stay the same or that our passions should change over time. But I think both of those things might be false. I think in some ways there are things that we're always passionate about. Stuff that is the things of dreams when we were little kids or the things that we really enjoyed doing when we were younger, but maybe don't have time for anymore as we get older or life kind of gets in the way or the other way around where we didn't even know that was a possibility or it didn't even exist until much later in life. And I think about my passion. Since I was a little kid, I've been passionate about theater and in many ways I have pursued that passion. I had been in some kind of production of some sort, usually only in school with plays when I was in second grade when I was the little bell that couldn't ring in our Christmas school musical and I told Santa his lines and then up through high school and then in college being a theater major. Well, my passion grew into a different form and my passion became that of God and how to use God and theater together. And I did that through college and now my passion has been pretty much all put into one place and that's the church and the theater part of my life is different, but I did something today um, that was really exciting. It was yet again putting a little bit of my passion of theater into my love for God and scripture. And so it was fun to record with a group of people from across this country and we're going to have it uh, seen at some point that they're gonna put together the 10 bridesmaids scripture verses and a fun little uh, play that was put together by someone in a group that I'm a part of and said yes to being this. And so it was really exciting to just do something and it was little, it didn't take very much and it gave me so much joy just even thinking about it and I didn't put as much as I would hope to in it and be honest with that as well for myself. But I also think about this scripture verse, Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for people. Well, I guess I really live into that of working for the Lord and using my passion of theater. But I think about each of your passions and how when we work heartily for the Lord, it doesn't mean that it's all only for the church, but for the Lord means so many things. If you have a passion for teaching, whatever you're teaching, whatever subject, when you do it for the Lord, it is an intention of loving God and loving others. And same with medical or engineering or military or anything that we have passion for. Usually there's an underlying passion whether it's serving others, caring for others, loving others, loving pets, uh, our passions, um, we are called to work heartily, give it our heart and know that our hearts can be a part of so many things. Let us pray. Thank you God for your passion for us and that we can serve you with the passions of our heart that you have put in our lives and in our whole being. May we use our passions and joys and dreams for the work of you and the love for of others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.